Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Maida short video series. In this video, we will be talking about the design of substructure part that is our peer. So as we know, in Maida Civil NX, we can obviously define our superstructure and design it corresponding to different materials, be it pre-stressed concrete or the steel girders or the composite girders. But apart from that, we can also design the substructure elements in the program. So today's video is focused on that part itself. We will be dealing with the pier for a precious concrete bridge that you can see in the window. And to start with, we go to the results part and first we check our load combination. Like this is the analyzed model we are seeing. Then we go to the concrete design since we are dealing with the concrete design of our pier. So here we need to check whether the load combinations are defined or not. If we have not defined the load combination, we can just click on this auto generation option and that leads us to this automated load definition by the corresponding code. So I just choose Astro every 20 and I can click on OK and that give me these load combinations according to the load cases we have defined. Once we have done that, we go to the design option. So you can see Midas Civil NX allows design for different parts, be it steel, RC, PSC, steel composite, SRC or steel ortho deck design. So in today's demo, I'm using this RC design option for my peers. So the very first thing is like we will choose the code. So we recently updated our codes as well, couple of months back where now we are having Astro every 20 edition for the design of all the material. Moving on, I will just first select the T-bar input for design for the column section. So the program allows you either you can give the rebar that you are having and you can check for that or you can just give the general details and the program then will design your pier. So first I choose the section here and I can give the cover thickness that I'm having and the ties number and the size is here. Once I do that, I just click on add and I click cancel. Then we go to the design option. And here we have this RC code design option and I can just use column design like that. So it is considering both the column sections as you can see and then, then it gives us this design results. So it is a thorough design report that you can see like it gives you the load combinations that is the critical one and according to that the cases like the forces that are coming for the axial loads and the moment that you can see here. Then it gives you the ratio of all the demand to capacity ratio. So you see like all these ratios are under one. So it is showing okay. Then it also gives us the PM interaction diagram. So many a times we have to use another software for the substructure design and that create a lot of trouble. Like if we are dealing with seismic analysis or we want to have more accurate analysis, then the substructure definition is also must in the superstructure model. So that is where it becomes really handy like we can design substructure as well along with superstructure. So it gives you the shear force capacity check as well in this. So this was how like we have given the basic design material and like what are the configuration of rebars and accordingly it gives us the value of the checks. Another thing we are having here is like if I give the number of rebar that I'm having and the program will check corresponding to that reinforcement. So for that, I just choose the section here. You can see the circular peer section that I'm having. Then I'm supposed to give the details of ties and the rebar data as well in here. So I just choose the ties detail and also for the rebar data, I will first choose like the division, the sizes of my rebars. and the thickness. So the first layer has been made. I want to have another layer. So I add layer two. And then I again redraw. So you can see your column section as well here and you just hit add replace. So you can see the column section is now having the reverse. Now I just have to go to RC code check and I choose column checking. So as you can see, it has both the option. It can either design or check the provided reinforcement. Once that is done, I just select the section. We can have a 3D PM interaction curve as well for the both the cases. 
and then we have this graphical report similar to what we saw before so now you can see the reinforcement that we have given the rebar patterns and the corresponding checks for that so that is how we can deal with any substructure design and it is applicable for peer cap as well and in case you model abutments so those things can also be designed same thing goes with the pile and the pile caps i hope this video was helpful for you see you in the next